up, you know, um, overall, I thought it was a good fight. I think Horn fought very well. You know, he's a little bit rougher than I thought he was, maybe a little bit more physical than I thought he was. And I think, like, every time you come out of a clinch in a headlock, something's wrong there, but I don't know what the referee can control that or what it was. But, you know, I thought it was a pretty close fight, though. I thought Manny had a real good uh, round in the ninth. I thought it was maybe a two-point round. And I just told Manny, give me one more of them, and the fight's over, and it's done. But he just couldn't do it. And um, we, lo we lost the decision, you know. I'm not a judge. Uh, you know, it's very hard to sit that close and, you know, He's, there's a lot going on in between rounds and so forth, giving instructions and so forth. So like, it's very hard for me to judge a fight. It's just from outside. But the thing is, um, I, I hear there's a lot of people think it's controversy, think many won and so forth, but it, was, it went the other way and uh, we have to live with that. And will we have a rematch? Maybe, I hope so. Uh, Brisbane, thank you for everything. It's been one of the best cities I've ever seen in my life. So, and I've been in a lot of places. Okay, so you do want the rematch. Where would you prefer that rematch? I don't see any reason why we can't come back here. I mean, the thing is, I, I think we enjoy an, another huge crowd. And, uh, I mean, that's uh, good for boxing. And I think this area needs to improve on boxing uh, a bit, though, because yeah. um, I think it's in the shadows a little bit too much. Obviously, there were some suggestions before this fight. If Manny lost this fight, he was going to retire. Do you think he's... What do you think his mindset is right now? I'm going to have to have a long talk with him over that, you know, because I think maybe being a senator, maybe being a fighter, both is just maybe too much. You know, we didn't have enough time in training camp. The beginning of the training camp was not so well. Not the sparring was bad. He was he was too light. He, and then when I came in and we went to General Santos, it was a lot easier because he only had one job. And being a job as a boxer is like more than enough, believe me. So I'm going to have to have a long talk with Manny and discuss this and um, see how he feels. And I'm going to give him my feelings on it too because I just I'm a little bit I'm a little bit in the middle right now because you know he didn't fight badly or anything like that. He did he did well in um, some of the rounds and so forth, but he just wasn't consistent enough for what I want. He's a 38 year old. Can he come back, as you say, to a full time boxing and achieve what he did? In I think so. I think he shows uh, signs that this was one of the better training camps we've ever had. It, was, it wasn't, you know, the best one we've ever had, but it was, it, at least it was going in the right direction, so it was good. And then there was a few rounds in the fight that went the right way, and he, I mean, like the ninth round, I said, that's the man of Pacquiao I've been looking for, you know. But um, can, we consider, do, can we do that more? I think so, but um, we'll see. A final word on Jeff Horn. You I know your camp didn't underestimate him, but w how do you rate that guy right now? He's the world champion, I suppose. It says it all. Uh, Jeff's a good guy. His, um, his entourage pissed me off a little bit, but, you know, because, like, they're trying to use brown porous tape. Not brown porous. They're trying to use brown tape in the hand wraps. I said, that's illegal. You have white porous tape. It's in the rule book. And they had no tape, and they couldn't find any tape. So uh, he owes me for six rolls of tape. 